we sometimes don't refer to these as hot dogs. Sometimes we re refer to them as steak dogs because much like the steak burgers that we've talked about, this is not like whatever, whatever in terms of a hot dog. This is 100% all beef steak trimmings going into the creation of the hot dog. So this is M58765. We just debuted these about a month ago. They've been really, really popular and they're guaranteed to arrive on time for Memorial Day this weekend. If you order with your major credit card and you get to choose how many, do you want 16 of them? Or do you want to double your offer and get 32 of them? If you do that by bundling your orders together, you save $19.75 by doing it that way. And then you can even do four easy payments and lock it in auto delivery. But uh, Ralph Pallarino was joining us once again to share the benefits of these delicious hot dogs. So again, recipe, so ingredients, yes. important because we're dealing with steak trimmings, not just ground beef and or pork in some sort of weird mix. It's steak trimmings, but yes. then the recipe that goes into that, the spice recipe to make it so delicious, also incredible. Yeah, so it is a hot dog by flavor profile. Mm -hmm. However, we call this a steak dog. So why do we call it a steak dog? Mm -hmm. Well, because we decided a couple years ago that we were going to take our steak trimmings and make the best hot dog in the world right here. And we did. And, you know, I'll say this right off the bat. So my wife... Mm -hmm. And I've known her, we've been married five years, mm -hmm. six years I've known her. She has never eaten a hot dog, never. So today I took a package out for my father-in-law and I left two hot dogs out before I left. Okay. And on my way here, she sent me a photograph and she said, I just had the hot dog, it's amazing. And I was like, you ate that? And she goes, yes. So and you weren't I, there? I was not there to <laughs> see it, but she ate it. I was like, that's pretty, that's, that, amazing. that's all that I need to know because my wife is very picky and well, she ate a hot dog. And look at that. Look at yeah. the juices you're getting. Look at the color. And I need to let you know between the two counts, the 16 and the 32, the 32 is definitely already the most limited if you want to be picking up that one. And that could last either for one amazing party for tons of people or it could last you throughout the course, you know, at least a couple of months during the summer if it's just for you and your family. Yeah. And this is how they come. So you get four to a pack. 3.6 ounces. That's huge. That's huge. The normal hot dog is 1.2 ounces. So there's four to a pack versus eight. Right. So basically it's like two hot dogs in one. In a way. Look at that. You know what? Can you cut this piece in half for Absolutely, me, please? Absolutely, yeah. Because um, I want to go in for a bite on this one. It's just, I mean, I actually do have one request after I eat this, and I'll let you know what that <laughs> request is. I don't know if you know what I'm going to say. I don't know, but I, I'm ready for you. It is the biggest... <laughs> deepest, juiciest flavor. And again, it's a combination of ingredients, steak trimmings, and then the spice recipe to go with it. The texture is just fabulous. And I do, so here's my ask. Okay. Technically you can do whatever you want in terms of preparation. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of begging you to please not boil them. I know some people just do that because that's the way they eat their hot dogs, but all that flavor is just going to get out into the water. Yeah, I mean, I'm, if you can eat it any other way, that's just my ask if you want to enjoy it properly. That's right. Um, I, I love them grilled. So Oh my gosh, I, so, grilled? And it's funny, when you talk about someone's, like, their first hot dog, like, yes. like my little kids and their first hot dog, it should be the most amazing hot dog that yeah. they taste. And then they're spoiled and they can do whatever they want from there. Yes. But I just think that this is the hot dog that should be uh, their first hot dog if mm -hmm. you've never had a hot dog. Yeah, I so, agree. You know, and on that, we have to make a Sharon dog. Yeah, okay, so we're okay. gonna do it. And I don't have sauerkraut, and don't That's get mad. That's okay, I won't get mad. I'm usually a traditional German okay. sauerkraut mustard girl. Okay. But you're so, gonna get creative on me. I'm gonna get it. So we're gonna make this sweet and a little spicy. Ooh, I like okay. that. Okay, I don't know if that, you know, makes sense. Works for me. Okay, so we got two kinds of peppers. Okay, and a little bit of bacon. Okay. Like that, okay. Look, and he's mixing it in a bowl. Look, yeah, well, it's like special. This. And a little bit of jalapeno. It's actually really pretty, all those colors Is that in good? there. And then yeah. a little bit of mustard. Mustard, yes. Okay, and then we're going to mix it up. You know so what? you want to help me out? Yeah, I used to be, I'll, I'll open this. Right. Um, I used to be, don't ask me why, but I, when I was really little, I wanted ketchup. And maybe you like ketchup and that's great, but when I got older, I mean, there was no okay. way for me to do it other than you got to do the mustard. No, I, I can't do ketchup. Okay. Awesome. So, the Sharon dog is officially is. officially crafted done. and we're going to just put a little bit okay just just a dab right down the middle perfect all right okay you go in for that i will 
Mm. That fresh jalapeno mm -hmm. gives it a little crunch, and then we got the sweet mm. relish in there. Mm. Go to town. Tell me, tell me what you think. How did I do? Those layers, the layers of flavor actually on that recipe that you just came up with are delicious. <laughs> do it. But the first thing that I got when I bit into it wasn't the extra layers. The first thing when I bit into it was the hot dog itself because when you grill this up, the skin has a nice little snap on it, mm -hmm. as it should, because that's what's helping to lock in all of those juices that you see right there so it doesn't just end up kind of rubbery. A lot of foods, if they're just not crafted the right way, can end up rubbery. Nobody wants to eat something like that. And by the way, I need to let you know where we are with these. If you want the 16 count, 200 to go around. 32 count, 100 remaining. All right, And that's Let's it, go. so here's my suggestion. And this really is very important. Sometimes on our foods we have auto delivery and sometimes we don't. The reason with hot dogs, <clears> I think <throat> it's important to have auto delivery is that we don't present them on air all year long. And sometimes they may even disappear from QVC.com as we get closer to fall and winter. And we're talking about lots of holiday foods and Thanksgiving and wintertime gatherings. But if you are locked into auto delivery, you will still get your Kansas City State Company hot dogs or steak dogs as we're liking to call them delivered to your house all throughout the course of the year. Every 90 days for one year, you can get these coming to your house and be happy when you receive that package that you don't have to suffer with what's out at the regular grocery store in terms of flavor. So yeah. do the auto delivery. And also, if you missed out on the burgers, the steak burgers from earlier in the show, that item number is in 55747. You will get both of these on time from Memorial Day if you order with your major credit card and then you'll have your steaks and hot dogs or burgers and hot dogs ready to go. Yeah, and you know, when you were describing your first bite of the Sharon dog, mm -hmm. um, you want to take notice mm -hmm. that 50-50 uh, ratio on the dog to bun. Now, look, mm -hmm. at, look at the size of this, this yes. hot dog. And I mean, it really, it's a bun filler. Is that a good way to say it, right? Yeah, and it is. It's you, good. Yeah, and you don't just get that bun. Don't you hate when you go somewhere and it's like all bun? You know what? If you're going to do the hot dog, you got to do it. I have to tell you, in many cases, I mean, it depends on what I'm doing. If I'm home, I don't do the bun at all. Okay. I eat, it, it's like a sausage, and I'll, I'll just cut it up with a fork and a knife. Right. But if I'm going somewhere, I'm not going to be like, I'm not doing carbs. <laughs> like, I will totally eat it on the bun because then I can talk and walk around and hang out with people at the barbecue. But because the flavor on this is so good, you really don't have to do much except just cook it up no. and, and you, enjoy it. And, you know, Sharon, you make such a great point. So, okay, let's, we did the hot dog thing with mm -hmm. the bun and the, the fixings. Yeah. What about adding it to mac and cheese? Oh my gosh, yes. Or cheesy potatoes. Mm -hmm. now, see, yeah. now, now we're having fun. Because the flavor is so big and that flavor can infuse into other aspects of your cooking. And I love this right over here. I mean, think about for Memorial Day weekend, oh. having a whole little buffet of sorts set up here where you've got all your different toppings that are all set up and people can use onions and they can use relish or peppers or bacon. And then they essentially, as they're coming right off the grill, they can all start serving themselves. I think this is so cute right here with, with some onion awesome. rings and some stuff. So you could get out your air fryer inside and do a couple little side dishes while the hot dogs are outside on the grill. I do recommend those easy pays. You're getting four easy payments of either $9.94 a month for the set of 16 or 14.94 a month for the set of 32 and the set of 32 which is the most popular choice that's where your savings lies because instead of just buying two 16s separately you could do that but you'd be spending $19.75 more by doing two 16s separately yeah. instead of the bundle we take away some of that money that is actually a significant savings it's 30 so think about it this way it is 39.75 for your set of 16 it's only $20 more to double the amount of food that's coming to your home. I mean, that's amazing. So grab your easy pays, know that your shipping is free, lock it into auto delivery. Oh, what was that, Jerome? 32 count is now down to five dozen remaining. Oh, somebody buy them. Get and em. the 16 <laughs> count just went down to 150 remaining. And Memorial Day weekend is the kickoff, the unofficial start to summer. So this is going to be an opportunity for you to get this home and then hopefully being enjoying it. It's in 58765. But do ask about that auto delivery. And then, of course, you said four to a pack? Four to a pack, yeah. And then we did thaw them out before we put them on the grill, yep. right? Yeah, take them out of the freezer, just like this. Cool water, mm -hmm. about 40 minutes, and they're defrosted. What you don't want to do is put them in hot water because that's just... 
that'll just ruin the whole flavors. Yeah, yeah. you should never thought anything yeah. in the hot water or warm water in general. But stay where you are because this, you're watching QVC2 and we have a lot more programming coming up that I think you'll enjoy. Ralph, thank you so much. Thank you. And I will see you on the main channel tomorrow. Have a great day. Bye-bye.